Hello, today we'll be solving for the output of this system given this x of k and this h of k. So we know from our studies that uh, y of k is equal to h of k convolved with x of k. But we don't like convolution, so let's use a shortcut. If we go into the Fourier domain, we know that y of omega is equal to h of omega times x of omega. So let's use this idea. But first, we must convert our nasty little uh, discrete signals. So let's first look at x of k. So we have the product of two cosines, which we can simplify it down to the sum of two cosines. The first cosine being the sum of the inside angles, and the second cosine being the difference of the two inside angles. So we get that x of k is equal to 1 half times the quantity of cosine of pi times k divided by 2, plus cosine of 7 pi k divided by 8. So we, let's take this into the Fourier it's pretty simple because we're just dealing with cosines. It's just becomes two delta function at plus and minus that signal. So we get delta of omega plus pi over two plus uh, delta of omega minus pi divided by two. And then as well as delta of the seven pi divided by eight and plus and minus seven pi divided by eight because it is a uh, even function. But we also have this term of pi over two on the outside that we have to deal with later. But now let's look at h of k. I said that x of k was an easier one because h of k is a sink function, which can become quite nasty. So when we look at the transfer table of what sink is, we get omega over pi of sink of omega times k divided by pi. We don't have that, but we can finagle this equation a little bit. So we can say that w is equal to 3 pi divided by 4 times k divided by pi. But because we did this, we put that omega on the outside as well, which the pi's cancel out. So we just get 3, 4 on the outside. But because we modified the equation, we want to be sure to keep the equation the same. So we have to multiply by the reciprocal being 4 thirds. So when we take the transfer, we get that h of omega is equal to 4 thirds whenever the absolute value of omega is less than or equal to w, but it's zero for whenever the absolute value of omega is greater than w, but less than or equal to pi. So when we look at the transfer of this in the DTFT, we get essentially a rec function going from 3 pi divided by 4 to negative 3 pi divided by 4 with the height of 4 divided by 3. We're going to use this idea after we uh, interpose the x of omega onto this graph, we can see that two of the deltas do not make it inside of the rec function. So these are being multiplied by 0, which means we can just ignore them entirely. So we just end up, due to the deltas being multiplied by the rec, just having two delta functions. So our final equation is y of omega is equal to pi divided by 2 times 4 divided by 3 times the quantity of delta of omega plus pi over 2 plus delta of omega minus pi divided by 2. But we have already seen this guy once before. We did this whenever we were converting from x of k to x of omega. So we can see that this is just going to be cosine of pi times k divided by 2. So our final equation simplifying our uh, coefficient on the outside, is 2 divided by 3 of cosine of pi times k divided by 2. And that is our output given this system and given this input. Thank you for watching.